The Mighty B-1, with its sleek design, extensive range, and supersonic speed, is the workhorse of America's long-range heavy bomber force. Despite making its first combat sortie as recently as 1998, the bomber still surpassed a milestone of 10,000 combat missions in 2012. But as technology advances, even reliable and effective platforms like the B-1 require upgrades. In 2011, the Air Force announced plans to install integrated battle station modification kits to retrofit the airplane fleet front to back with the latest technology. The Legacy B-1 was text-based monochrome display like an original IBM PC. The integrated battle station brings color graphics, data link, and much more capability and situational awareness for the air crews for the future. The B-1, or bone as air crews affectionately call it, has seen a number of upgrades in 30 years, but nothing close to what it is now undergoing. We're looking at uh, basically 22,000 parts per aircraft. Oklahoma City Air Logistics Center technicians are installing Boeing supplied modification kits with extensive coordination and guidance from Boeing engineers. The integrated battle station is a massive upgrade. They're basically taking the complete cockpit board, both the front and the aft, almost gutting it, reworking some of the webbing that holds the uh, systems that are in there, replacing those systems with new color displays, new line replaceable units, new integrated keyboards. The upgrades will provide the B-1 crew with the ability to strike quickly and avoid threats while improving the reliability and maintainability of the aircraft systems. But now we have the capability to be able to pull the information, the intel that's generated from the field and almost instantaneously data link that down to the air crews flying the airplanes and dynamically retest those airplanes and have them replan missions which used to take days or weeks and turn that into just a matter of minutes so that they can engage what we call now as time sensitive targets. For former B-1 pilots like Dan Troutman, the continuing evolution of the B-1 is personal. It's been my honor to have flown the B-1 for 3,300 hours. It's my privilege to serve Boeing to make sure that the men and women flying the B-1 for the next 30 years have the best aircraft they can possibly have.